Hey, hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. We are doing your collective reading for September 9th of 2024. How are you guys doing? Happy birthday to all the Virgos. It's good to see all of you. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones and your pets. And I want to welcome you all to Miss Hawaii Tarot, baby. Thank you for being here. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What's happening? What's happening, collective? What's happening? How y'all feeling? It's uh, the start of the week. Start of the week. We are already almost halfway through September. Do you believe it? Oh my gosh. Next thing you'll know, it'll be New Year's. It'll be 2025, y'all. Mm. So thank you guys for being here. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, if you're coming back, you're a real one. Thank you for showing love. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with the collective here. Hope everything is good with you, your loved ones and your pets. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, ancestors. What's going on with the collective? Signs and synchronicities. Coincidence, signal, hint, messages from the universe. Mask. Oh, God. Hidden motive, concealed, disguise, lying. Divine timing, wrong time and stalemate, perfect time and waiting, music on the bottom. Musician, snake charmer, harmony, melodic. Somebody could work like in the music industry or music is some type of big factor here between you and this person. You, okay. You're getting a lot of signs about whoever this is. But they got the mask card. I just don't know if it's a good mask or a bad mask. If it's a Jim Carrey mask <laughs> or if it's a bad mask, it says hidden motive, concealed, disguise, lying. And then you got divine timing. So let's pull some tarot here. Let's see. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Coincidence, signals, hint, messages from the universe. Seems like you're getting a lot of signs from the universe in regards to whoever this is. This feels like somebody got feelings for you and they're hiding it. But you get a lot of signs that this person does have feelings for you. They do like you. They do care about you. But for some reason, they're wearing a mask. And there's something about music here, too. Somebody could, I'm seeing something about a studio. Somebody could be like in a studio. Somebody plays the guitar. Somebody's name is Connor. Let's see. Let's get more information on you and this person, okay? Carl, Matthew, Sarah. And somebody could be born on the 18th, the 3rd, the 27th, and the 14th. The 22nd is here too. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands. Ooh. The Sun. That popped out. Leo energy. The Knight of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Randy. Make sure my microphone ain't covered so you guys could hear me. The Death in reverse, Scorpio, the Queen of Coins. Some of you could be Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Star in reverse. So Aquarius energy here, Sagittarian energy here, Scorpio energy, Leo. There's something about divine time in here. 
because the wheel of fortune is in reverse, which means it's not the t not the right time yet. So I don't know. This person has a hard time expressing their feelings with the Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like you get a lot of signs about whoever this is, that this person wants you, but it's like they conceal their feelings for you. And some of y'all, you cannot let this person go with the death in reverse. Because I feel like this person makes you really happy with the sun, but I feel like with the 10 of wands, this has been like a burden for you. Some of y'all feel like giving up, but it's like a part of you, you care about this person. What's the ace of wands in reverse? The strength. Yeah. The death. Ooh. Leo and Scorpio there. Yeah, you, this person is holding back. The six of pentacles. Some of y'all feel like this person is breadcrumbing you. You want change in this person. You feel like giving up because you feel like this person is not taking a leap of faith. You feel like they're not jumping in with both feet wet and the star is here upright. It's like, you really, really want this. Aries energy, Aquarius, you really, really want this. You've actually put in a lot of effort to show this person that you want this. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. You've, you've put in effort here. You've done your part. It's like you, you, you've shown this person just how happy they make you, but why is this person the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person got a hard time expressing their feelings. The Hangman, you see Pisces energy. Three of Wands, what they waiting on? It's kind of like this person is waiting to see like if they can actually express their emotions to you. I don't know what they're waiting on. Let me get one more card on this person being the Knight of Cups in reverse, please. The Ten of Cups with the Eight of Cups. It's like this person knows like how happy y'all could be. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. So they know how happy y'all could be. But then the Eight of Cups is here. Some of y'all, this person is running from this. This is strange. They have a very hard time expressing their emotions. What's the Seven of Wands in reverse? Hmm. The moon, you see, it's like hidden feelings. The tower in reverse, the knight of wands. So more Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, it's like, you know, this person got more feelings than what they're showing. You know it. And you're right. You get a lot of signs about them. Like maybe you're seeing them in readings a lot. Maybe you're seeing them in dreams. Maybe you're seeing things like when you out, you might see their name or something like that. Things that remind you of them. I don't know. What's this person's problem? What's the death in reverse? Three of swords and the hermit. Yeah, some of y'all, this is really hurting you. Virgo energy with the hermit here. Like some of you feel very alone in this connection. Like some of you, there's been no communication. Sometimes they act disinterested, but it's like, you know, this person got feelings for you. Somebody could be a musician. The king of cups. I told you this person... <sighs> You've seen a side of this person 
You've seen like their heart. You know this person has a good heart. But then you also feel like this person has another side of them where you feel alone. What's up with them? What's the wheel of fortune in reverse? This person like. The three of pentacles, the ten of wands, the knight of wands. Ten of wands again. Yeah, this has been weighing heavily on you. Because it's like you've been trying to like build with this person, but they're coming up as the knight of wands. Like they're hot and cold. Some of y'all, this could be a fire sign. Why the star in reverse? The lovers. Oh my God, child, you in love with this person. Ooh, child, you feel a strong soulmate connection with them. The high priestess. Ooh, the lovers and the high priestess. That's deep. That's deep. Some of y'all, you be up at night thinking about this person. Like sometimes you can't even sleep. The high priestess and the lovers is like a spiritual. It's like your intuition tells you like, this is my person. High priestess and the lovers. It's like intuitively, you know, this is your person. Like, ooh, but the star is in reverse. King of swords. See this person, they, I don't know why they act like this. Intuitively, a lot of you are very like intuitive. You know, this is your person. Is there anything else you can tell me about this person? Why they do that? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands. The Seven of Cups. Ooh, they got a lot of options. The Emperor, Aries energy. And the Knight of Swords. Some of you, they dealt with somebody in the past that did a number on them and this person was never the same since. Maybe they loved somebody, they cared about somebody and the person hurt them and now they just kind of like, I'm never going to have feelings again. That happens to some people because getting your heart broke, it, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> that shit hurt, especially if you're an emotional person. That shit does not feel good. You know what I mean? So some of y'all, this person, they had their heart broken once and they were like, never again. They dealt with somebody that they thought really, really cared about them and the person didn't. The person only cared about themselves. So it could have made this person be like, you know what? I'm never going to lose control again with the emperor. Like this person likes feeling like they have control. They have power. Because you know, when you start having feelings for somebody, it's like you're letting your power... Not letting your power go, but you're, you're emotionally vulnerable. This person don't want that ever again. Six of wands, they could get a lot of attention, possibly be in the public eye. They could even be famous for a few of you or just popular. But they got a lot. The seven of cups is like options, like keeping their options open. It's very strange. Because I know this person got feelings for you, but. It's like they don't want to attach to you. It's like they don't want to attach to you. But then they also not letting you go with the eight of cups in reverse. <laughs> they also can't walk away from you. The four of pentacles holding on to you. So, I mean, this person like. So they don't want to let you go, but then they also, they're unable to find like, um, like I'm getting, they meet a lot of people. Like they may even meet people that they're attracted to, like other women or other men they're physically attracted to, but these connections lack passion. Like. 
it's something about like with you, like it's, it's passionate with you. It's because I mean, the lovers and the high priestess is that's serious. <laughs> that's that's a serious, strong connection. That's like spiritually, you know what I mean? This is given twin flame. A lot of y'all, this could be like a twin flame or something like that. trying to move <laughs> where's my other deck for you let me see this one let's see tell me more please Mistakes, misunderstood, victim, lost soul. Silence, frozen, no words, stonewall. Second chance, reconciliation, making amends, opportunity. It's time, again with this time, waiting, cycles, moments. It's the second card you got. You got divine time in which says waiting, and then you got another card about waiting. Some of you have been waiting on this person. Waiting on the world to change. Cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced, distorted. Karma. Consequences, cause and effect, debts. Open heart, receptive, empathy, vulnerable. I was just saying being emotionally vulnerable. I feel like you've had an open heart with this person. I feel like their judgment is cloudy. It's something about them waiting, like... Maybe they feel like they've made a lot of mistakes in love. They're afraid to make another one. I mean, <laughs> join the club. Yeah, like see how it says silence, frozen, no words, stone wall. It's like this person's like a fucking brick wall. They don't like showing emotions. They don't like being like emotional and. Whether they're a man or a woman, <laughs> they don't, I don't know if they was raised that way or child. This is a tough one right here. This is a tough cookie right here to crack. Well, Let's see what's happening between you and this person in the future. Will they change? Will they soften up? They're wearing a mask. The crazy thing is at the root of this person's heart, they are very caring and, and giving and sweet. And I feel like you saw a pinch of that. But it's like they don't, it's like they don't want people to, to see that side of them. They, they want to be the emperor. So let's go into the extended, okay? So in the extended, we're going to see uh, what's happening between you and this person in the future. What can you expect from them? Will there be any type of change from them? Will they eventually like start opening you know, up more emotionally? Okay, we'll pull Oracle, we'll pull Tarot. We'll get you some advice to see what your angels feel like you should do. Uh, if you guys want a personal reading, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Instagram and TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. Check those out and show love. Please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. And um, shout out to all the members. Thank you for being a member of this channel. Thank you to everybody who has joined my astrology Patreon. I love you. I will be uh, doing a new video this week for the um, subscribers. So you have a new reading coming this week. And if you want to join either one of those, the, the link is below. Okay. So thank you for your donations, your love, your support. I will see you guys in the extended. And if not, I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Y'all have a blessed week. Stay prayed up and thanks for watching.